Good day everyone. Today, we are going to learn about further details of the composition of the earth. Inside the barysphere, things settled according to their weight. The heaviest went to the center of the earth and the lighter floated on top. The center is called the core. The lighter part around the core is the mantle. The crust is the lithosphere. We live in the lithosphere. The mantle is more plastic, not solid. While in the core, some say it is in the liquid state. Others says it is in a semi-liquid state. As you move further down to the center of the Earth, the temperature increased to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. The mantle is about 1,800 miles, while the core is about 3,000 miles from one edge to the center. The crust varies but it is believed to be the thinnest among the layer. The crust is made up of two kinds of rocks, granite and basalt. The granite is composed of tiny crystals and it is the lighter one. The basalt is the heavier one. The lighter rock floated on top. Granite got stuck on the basalt. The blocks of granite and basalt form the crust of the earth. However, the crust is not a whole shell covering the mantle, but slabs called plates. They float on top of the mountain, sometimes rubbing and colliding against each other. Most of these movements are unnoticed. If noticed, we feel earthquakes and even tsunamis. Water carries sediments in the river. An example is the Grand Canyon. How are volcanoes formed? Because our mantle is plastic, some plates rub, move, or hit each other, which turns into volcanoes. The crust is pushed up, which causes the water basin to get higher. This is called crumbling. Volcanoes and mountains were formed through earthquakes. Volcanoes erupt when steam creates a lot of pressure and is released as lava. That's all about further details of the composition of the earth.